Hi, this is Michael from Swanky Turtle Games, and in this video, we're going to show you a quick setup of RB8 Retro Baseball 8-Bit. So we've done our player draft, and we have our team set, and I went ahead and I've already um, set my lineup one through nine, and I'm going to go ahead and lay them down here. Um, we predetermined uh, who was going to be the home team and the away team by rolling the dice, and I rolled higher, so I am the home team, so I will put my players on the side of the mat. Um, and the way team, of course, will be on the opposite side. So I'm going to put my starting lineup down, one through nine, which will not change once it has been set. Also, I will decide which of my three outfielders are going to play which position, left field, center field, or right field. Also, there will be one extra player, which will be your designated hitter or your DH, and that player, of course, will not play any defensive positions, but would only hit. So all that will be determined pregame, so that way your opponent knows who's playing where. Then we will take our rally card deck, which we have shuffled, and we'll stick it right here on the board. And we also have space here for the discard pile as well. Um, each player then will draw three rally cards, which will be secret information um, that they will not let their opponent see. Uh, next, we make sure that we have um, uh, our six uh, runner cubes, uh, three of each color, and also a batter cube so we can keep track of who's at the bat. Uh, runner cubes will come into play when, say for instance, Peter Thorne gets on first base, so we'll put one white cube on his card and we'll throw one out here on first base, that way we know um, who was on first base and keep track of the speed for stolen bases and other purposes. Um, if the uh, next batter were to get on base and force the, the run, move the runner up, we just simply move our cube to the next base and match the coordinating cube color to that batter. Um, we all, both players will also have two six-sided dice, and there will also be a uh, control special dice for the, uh, for the uh, hitter and one for the uh, pitcher. We also have a scoreboard, which we will track innings, uh, the visitor and the home team score, as well as the outs of the inning. Also, we have the three keys here, the pitching key, the hitting key, and ground ball key, which will be referenced to um, pretty much on every play. Um, there's also, also information on the back of them as well that you'll refer to as the sack bunt key, and there's also an error key. So all the information is here on these three cards that you'll be using. So have those handy and set up for each player. That's pretty much the setup for RB8 Retro Baseball. So you're pretty much ready to play ball.